In this one, we're going to replace a transformer on an oil furnace. Now, this is a Becky burner, probably the most common one out there. And uh, so this is the one I'm going to work with. Most of the Beckys had this, this type of transformer on it. A couple of screws up here. And you open it up that way once you take the screws out. Now at that point, here's your high tension leads here. Here's the leads going into the CAD cell relay. Now I'm not representing this thing as being a pristine oil burner. This is just an old test mule I got floating around here. So, uh, and it's kind of trash, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of them had the CAD cell relay mounted to them. Not all of them did, but a lot of them did. You just have to slide it off the old one and put it on the new one. Uh, the transformer itself is its actually very simple. Uh, this one here, you can probably read that model on that thing. Let me see if I can get it to where you can read it to, for sure. And that's a fairly common transformer. If there's power into this transformer, there's power coming through these leads, and there's no spark, the tra transformer's toast. So, uh, you can replace this with one like this one here, that is just a transformer. There are electronic ones. I'm looking around here, and I did not have one. I'll show you a picture of one before I'm done with this. But uh, you can use the new electronic ones. They fit in the same place. There's a hinge down here, so really most of the transformers you get are going to have this hinge and a couple of screws there if they're for a Becky burner. And just make sure the one you get has the same mountings. Now the wiring, the wiring in this one is about as simple as any of them get. This is, again, this is pretty sloppy wiring because it's just test mule. Uh, the CAD cell relay has an upside down <laughs> diagram. This one's about the simplest one of the bunch. Transformers on all the time, which I usually recommend you leave the transformer on all the time. They can be set up so that when the burner starts, the transformer starts making the spark, and then when it uh, proves flame, which is going to be maybe 40 seconds, then the spark shuts off. Uh, I usually leave them on all the time, mostly because that's what everybody else around here did. I think it probably is fine either way. But this one's only set up for that, because if you look here close, you can see in the diagram, IGN, ignition, and motor are hooked to the same line. So for wiring, there's only the two wires. You're not considering this because that's flame sensor. One wire goes to power coming in, and the other wire goes to the output of, of course, this CAD cell. Right up top here, it has an orange wire that comes out. And that one is the one that goes to the transformer. And so in this cobbled up mess in here, there's an orange wire coming off this CAD cell relay. And it goes straight to the other wire on the transformer. So the wiring is real simple. It doesn't make any difference which wire is which. Uh, just hook one to power. That'll be the common side of the line. That'll be the white. And the other one will go to the orange or whatever color the diagram on the CAD cell relay tells you is for ignition. That's pretty much it. Bolt that sucker down, test it out, you're done. Okay, before I finish here, I was going to tell you what one of the newer transformers looks like, and that's just a picture taken off a page. They're a lot smaller, but they you can see they have the same mounting uh, uh, points as the larger transformer. Okay, that's it on that one.